Hey everybody, what's up? Chad Wesley Smith here. Just wanted to talk you through a uh, good squat training session for me. So today I was working up to heavy doubles in just the belt. So here we are with 725. You know, squat training's been going great lately. You can see I feel very confident with this weight. Don't even really need to take a pause at the top with it. As much as possible, I try and do my reps in this kind of rapid fire su succession, which makes me feel like I you know, really own that weight. Here we are with uh, 765. Yeah, nothing uh, too much to, to say about the technique or anything here. Uh, on Friday, so this is mon uh, this is a Monday. On the previous Friday, I squat 635 for 12 and 635 for 8. Uh, so to come back and have this kind of session just two days later, I'm very happy about. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about what kind of uh, compression tights I'm wearing, and these are from Virus International. Uh, I really like them. I got long ones, three quarters of one, short short ones. These are actually the short ones and I just have reband knee sleeves turned inside out so it kind of makes them look like they're three quarters. But you know I just just focused on that tight setup, descending confidently, um, you know keeping good kind of packed neck position, uh, fairly upright chest. You know I, I do squat with a lower bar position but I'm and trying to maintain a pretty upright torso throughout. And here we go with 805 for two which is a PR for me in my last meat training cycle and mind you I'm using uh, the jugger cube which you can find uh, an article the whole program an article by the same title on jtsstrength.com that's jugger cube uh, my best just belt squat before the last meet was 805 for one and gonna do it for a pretty solid double right here so very happy about that maybe my hips shot back a little bit coming out of the hole on these more than I'd like but uh, for the most part, pretty uh, pretty solid reps. So the last thing I'm going to do here is a walkout and hold, and this is 995 pounds, and it's on a Texas Power Bar, which is just a 45 pound bar, kind of whippy, and it is with no belt. So I'll I'll do these up to two times per training cycle, um, and I look for about a 10% overload, all right, at max. So I'm really just trying to kind of be around the weights that I want to do at the meet. Anything over that 10% overload, I think it's it's getting excessive and it's more, uh, you know, stressful to the nervous system and kind of dangerous to the joints without really giving you any extra benefit. So all it is, I just walk it out, hold it for 10 seconds, and that's it. I'm very happy about the stability with this, and I'm really excited about how my training's going right now.